Hello, everyone. Welcome to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. This week, I have an interesting tip about the timeline, I guess. And and again, I hesitate to call it a timeline because this has had different names all over the years. We have the social pain. We have, you know, just a bunch of different names. But, you know, one of the things I don't like about the social pain, and this confuses a lot of users, basically. I'm just going to open any account here. It doesn't matter is that because permissions in Dynamics, when it comes to security rules, don't differentiate between the different kinds of activities. When someone wants to add an activity, let's say it's a phone call, right? They go in here and there's a ton of options. Like what's a booking alert? What's a customer voice alert? What's a project service approval? There's just so much stuff in here that shouldn't even be here. So, you know, I had a customer that asked me, look, we do like two things. We either meet with them or we call them. That's it. Or maybe appointments, emails, and phone calls. That's it, right? So what if you only want to show a subset of these rather than show all of them? Can you do that? Well, I guess it's time to find out. So let's start the countdown and let's go. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate into the Power Apps Maker and go to the tables. And this really works for any table. It doesn't really matter what it is, but I was already in the account. So I'm going to navigate all the way to the form editor to show you where we go to modify that. So let's go into the account form. Now, I'm not really sure if you can do it from the new editor. So I always just switch to classic because it's so easy to do in classic mode. So we're loading the social pane, as you can see, still called social pane behind the scenes, but I don't know, for some for some reason they call it a timeline or something like that. But I just double click on it and notice that we have two tabs, general and activities. So I'm gonna go into the activities tab and see that it says show all. So right now it's showing all of them. There's a lot of them. Look at that stuff. It's just a lot of them. So I don't want that. I just say show selected. And like I said, we're only gonna do appointments and emails. And let's just let's just do appointments and no, let's just add phone calls. Let's just be realistic. All right, phone calls. So we added those three things, and now I go and click OK, and click Save, and then we're going to publish. Of course, now you will see more options than the ones that you have selected. So we picked those three things: appointments and emails and phone calls, right? But through the timeline or through the social pane, depending on how you call it, you can also add posts, which are part of the follow capabilities of Dynamics, and you can also add attachments and notes. So those are still going to be options. But as you can see right here, now we can only see appointments, emails, and phone calls, which are the three options that we selected, again, along with notes and posts. So that is the whole purpose of today's tip is to show you how you can simplify the timeline for your users. So I hope you enjoyed the tip this week. And we'll see you next week.